Hello everyone, my name is Gerudo Gabriel and I am uh, a semi-finalist for the 100 meters in Commonwealth Games and also bronze medalist in the 4x100 meters in the Commonwealth Games. It all started in secondary school, that's International College in Ikorudu. So I am from Ikorudu actually. So we we'll go for inter-school release in Unilagano and then they had this competition at Teslim Balogun Stadium back then in like 20, 2015, I think the Bile Games and all and then there was the making of champions, they were, look, they were looking for athletes and all, young talents and, and back then I was still using without spikes so I was still running barefooted and all. And so they organized competitions in different states, but I couldn't make it to the various competitions they did in Ibado and the likes of Enugu because I had some things to do then. And finally, I had to go for the last edition that was at um, Benin. And when I went there, I won. I was the fastest secondary school girl there in Lagos. I won. And since then, MOC has been taking charge and They've been very supportive, and so it all started fully in 2015. For me, if you, if they had asked me back then, and if they had said, ah, if you, if you make it to the Commonwealth Games, how would I, I would have said no. I would have said no because then I didn't think I would go this far or I would come this far. Rather, I wasn't thinking so far then. But at this point, with all I have achieved at my age, I think I really want to go far in this. <laughs> For me, when I got to Gold Coast, it was very, it was very interesting and exciting because, uh, of course, that was my first international competition. And so finally, when I made it, I'm like, oh, I'll be going to Australia. God, please. And finally, I got to Gold Coast. It was very interesting, and you know, I got to see the likes of some people I watch on TV. And then I saw them. It was an interesting experience. And when I heard I had to run the 100 meters, it was exciting. Of course, I was supposed to be tensed, but I was so eager to see those people I always see on TV. Like, ah, God, I'm going to finally see them and even get to run with some of them. God, thank you, finally. <laughs> Yeah, so but it was a very interesting experience for me and I did a new PB in the 100 meters although I didn't get to the finals but I got to the semi-finals and that's, that's something for me. Yeah, I went for the Golden League in Port Harcourt. That was the competition before the Commonwealth Trials and so when I went to Port Harcourt, I did the 100 meters and I came second in the finals. And also I was interviewed and I was asked, if you make the team to the Commonwealth Games, how would you feel? And my response was so epic. I had to tell, I had to tell the person interviewing that oh, I have to make this team. There's no two ways about it. I must make the team. And eventually when the trials came up, I came third in the finals. Automatically I qualified to go for the Commonwealth Games and I made the 10 and so that was how it went. Yeah, I would like to say a very big thank you to my parents because um, if not for them, I will not be here today. If they, if they don't release me, if they say you are not going anywhere, you are not going, who are you to talk? And so I'd like to say a very big thank you to them for their support because um, it's not easy for parents to release their children to you know, do sport. I know some parents don't support it. And also MOC, making of champions. Okay, they've been very supportive in every way they can. My training, my schooling, going to competitions. Of course, I can't sponsor myself to every competition. It's not easy, it's not that easy. And so I'd like to thank everybody that has been very supportive in this, my sports career. I'd like to say a very big thank you to them because it's not easy. everyone this is bam bam and teddy eh, eh, eh. download bounce news app your news your edge 
for me, based on the interaction I had with one or two people, um, rest is very essential. You have to rest. Yes, you have to put in the work. That one is the basic thing, putting in the work. And also the diet. The diet. You can't go to a competition and be eating a bar now and all those things, you know. Athletes don't do that. Oh yeah, I'm a first year student in the University of Lagos currently, so I'm a student presently. Yeah, it's not been easy combining both together. You can't combine schooling and sports together. You have to choose yeah. one. Yeah, in Nigeria you have to choose one, but you know you have to make sacrifices. You want to achieve something, so you have to make sacrifices. If you don't sacrifice, all these achievements will not even come. You know, it's not easy, yes, but you have to keep pushing. With time, things will fall in place, like I said. And then Unilag, to a large extent, they're in support of sports, so that should do. Oh, well, you know, it is not good to skip lectures. This, to be honest, it is not good, but you know, sometimes when you know you have to be at training at a particular time and then the lecturer is still in the class and refuse to leave, you know, you would be checking the time and be wondering, when will this man leave so that you can go for training? And sometimes I get to train in late, you know, you make sacrifices. It doesn't matter the time you get trained, as long as you are there, that's the most important thing, regardless of the time you get there. When I wake up in the morning, you know, I know I have to be in school at a particular time when you have lectures from a particular time to a particular time. So you wake up on time. If you have lectures in the morning, you go to school and then you know you have training in the evening. You know, when you're in school, you have to start checking the time. Okay, I'll soon go for training and also there's really no much time for um, play, hanging out. I know you know you're going to class after class, you're going to training. And after training, you go home and sleep and get ready for the next day. Training with um, the GLU is an achievement, to be honest. It, is, it has been a very wonderful experience training with him. You know, it doesn't just teach you, just, it's not just all about the training. Morally, it tells you this is this, this is this. You need to know this thing. If you don't do this particular thing, you won't go anywhere because he has been there before, you know. And so training him with him has been very wonderful. The impact, not just me, and the rest of my teammates too. I'm sure we've all learned one or two things from him so far. And for me, yes, I think the 200 would be something to consider. But for the long jumps, for the jumps, I've I'm, I'm not considered it yet. Yes, I've not considered it yet, but for the 200, yeah. I love music, a whole lot. Hip hop and uh, R&B. I love Adele so much. Foreign bees. And then let's come to Ninja. I love the video. Yeah, what up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your favorite boy, I'm Oshine. Okay, Mr. Song, is the kingmaker. If we're not at Leo the Silver. Fanica. Angel. Always, Always download. download. Bounce News. Bounce News. Bounce News app from the Google Play Store and the Apple Store. It's fine. Keep bouncing. Keep I'll keep working hard to retain the title. Of course, no one wants to, you know, be at the top and wants to come back down. It's not possible. So I'm putting a lot of work and training now so I can still stay at the top. A lot of training, a lot of hard work, a lot of focus and determination will get me there. Mm. My target for the World Juniors will be to do a new PB, certain new PBs. Um, 11.42 seconds for now. With a lot of hard work, I should be able to do um, an 11 too. Oh, for me, I actually, you know, I did the release with the likes of Blessing and Toby and 
it was really nice there was this um team walk you know blessing had everybody along you know she spoke to us before the race she just you know normal team activities we all we did that and so without them without the teamwork we won't have won the medal so i'm really happy i met them i'm really happy i met them and for patience she's my friend <laughs> That's not a problem. It's what I love doing. It doesn't affect anything. I see. I see well on track. I see very well on track. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kiki. She on Kentabe. They hear me on Kolawo. Je m'appelle Ufo Mama Dermot. Bronke Odisoya. She on watch Aya. Kentabe Tony. And you're watching Bounce. 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 Bounce TV. To see a lot more. Click here to subscribe. Okay.